Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Abu Edwards. I have the opportunity to serve as uh, the National Director for SAM, Smart Approaches to Marijuana, which is a bipartisan organization uh, co-founded by former Congressman Patrick Kennedy and Dr. Kevin Sabet, who served as Obama's Chief Advisor for Drug Policy. Um, I'm here today to send a clear message to the lawmakers of, of uh, Illinois. It's to, number one, stop this train. Legalization of, of recreational marijuana does not impact the African-American community in a positive light. This is not the great hope that we think it would be after legalization of recreational marijuana. I have major concerns. I have the opportunity to travel around to a lot of different states, states who have legalized recreational marijuana versus states who haven't. And we can take Colorado, for example. We've seen DUIs increase on the roads. We've seen ER visits increase. And these, these are our young people. We've seen and we've seen young people, we've seen the incarcerate, incarceration rate increase amongst our young people after the state has legalized recreational marijuana. This is not the hope that we want for our community. This is not what we want. We want our kids to grow up in a safe, well, economic community. And legalizing recreational marijuana is sending one message, and one message only, is to put more drugs in our communities. We all know that once, if it does become legalized, we all know who benefit from it. It doesn't look, they don't look like me. There are white men with suits who work on Wall Street, who will benefit on the backs of our kids in our communities. This is not just about legalization. This is about commercialization, industrialization. This is about creating a big business that African Americans are not gonna have the capital to get into. I'm not saying that marijuana would never be legalized. I'm just saying, let's slow down this train. We've seen what alcohol and tobacco has done to black communities. We can walk around in our communities and see a liquor store in every corner. Do we want a dispensary store right next to that liquor store? What are we sending, what message are we sending to our kids? When people say we want to regulate alcohol, marijuana like alcohol, it bothers me. It bothers me, especially growing up in a community of substance abuse and how easy it is for our kids to get a gun versus to get drugs. We don't need this. We've also seen in the state of Colorado, just like the doc said, they're selling weed to pregnant women. Pregnant women. Pregnant women. So I ask every last one of you who can, who can see me, if you're watching me on TV, call your legislators. Tell them that we need to find out another revenue stream to tax because our kids mean so much to us. We should not legalize a drug on the backs of our kids. Do you know what commercialization is? It's advertisement. It's like walking to the store and seeing a big plastic board saying, we weed, weed for sale, or it's good to smoke weed. In our communities, these advertisements are not going into the white neighborhoods. They're gonna be targeted into black neighborhoods. And we all know that. We've seen it in Colorado. In one black neighborhood, you got more dispensaries than McDonald's and Starbucks combined. That's what we're looking at. So when, so when people say, oh, this is not you know, marijuana is, is not harmful. This is not the Woodstock marijuana that our parents smoked, where you can roll up into a joint. This marijuana has evolved. I call it the millennial marijuana, where you can smoke it, you can vape it, you can inject it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. This marijuana contains up to 99.9% .9 of THC. We all know that a lot of us out here are not eating cookies, candies, pops, and cakes. We all know who, they're, who, they're, who, they, who the industry is targeting. I remember when I was a kid, I used to uh, go to the store and get a box of candy cigarettes with the little red tip on it. And I used to go get the bubble gum that looked like cigarettes, not knowing that that was a form of advertisement in my community that would get people hooked on drugs. So we're going to stop this right now. We're gonna, I need you to call your legislators, and I need you to, let them, to tell them that they need to vote no on the floor. When this, when this bill hit the floor, they need to vote no. Yes. Abu, A-B-U, last name Edwards. Much of the argument for this, uh, some of the arguments, mm -hmm. this is a harm reduction argument. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Dr. Patino knows, in his hometown of Peoria, so, there oh. was poisoned marijuana last year that killed several people uh, in Peoria County. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what was in it, but uh, a, a bunch of people ended up hospitalized. And, um, I mean, your, your arguments have have a point, but we have 800,000 or more people using it on a regular basis in Illinois already, mm -hmm. some of them getting poisoned 
substance that kills them. I would say this, and I don't, I don't know the exact amount, but there has been um, a report released in Colorado that I believe, I don't want to say the percentage, but pesticides was found in the marijuana, which they had to do a recall. Those are the, those are the things that folks are not really, what? Those are the things that folks are not really looking at. You know, even if it's legalized, we're, st we're still having issues with pesticides. You guys want to say that? I do, thank you. No Just, I'll, I'll step on this. Mike, you were given a red herring on that. The product that was sold both in Chicago and Peoria, it wasn't just Peoria, was synthetic marijuana. Synthetic marijuana will not be legalized even by that bill. Synthetic marijuana is, in essence, a stronger form of marijuana. It's made synthetically, just like fentanyl is a synthetic form of morphine. Uh, synthetic marijuana is a synthetic form that is stronger and even more deadly. Nobody is talking about legalizing that, thank God. What we shouldn't be doing is we should not be forming companies who will seek to push to get more use. We should be discouraging everybody from using marijuana because it's damaging to human health. We should not form companies who will have a goal against what the public health goals are, uh, uh, companies who will solely want to sell and get as much use as possible. It's just not in the interest of public health. Thank you. And I think that, just to follow behind the doc, we're not understanding that, you know, the people who's behind big marijuana is no other than big alcohol and big tobacco. I don't know if you guys have been following, but Marlboro, the cigarette company, just invested like $4 billion in marijuana stock in the industry. That should tell you something. So we're, we're, it's not about a person smoking a joint. This is not about the average person who wants to smoke a joint on their porch or in their house. This is about big corporate greed coming into our communities, benefiting off addiction in our communities and not even living in our communities and plastering all this advertisement and commercialization in our communities where they don't even live and our kids got to walk the streets and look at this. So this is what we're talking about. This is exactly what we're talking about. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you I appreciate guys. it.